look at one like this. 8 to the 1 third over 8 to the 5 thirds. Okay, if we're dividing those, we've got our like bases, so all I'm going to do is subtract my exponent. 8 to the 1 third minus 5 thirds. Well, since these have like denominators, there's nothing extra I have to do. I can just subtract. 1 minus 5 is negative 4. So that's going to give me 8 to the negative 4 thirds power. And you can actually have a negative in the exponent. But what that means is it needs to go in the denominator or down on the bottom of a fraction. So if you get a negative exponent, it doesn't mean the term is negative. The coefficient, the 8, is still positive. It just means, as I always say, it needs to go into the basement. So it would be down here on the 4 thirds. Okay? Now we're going to talk about how to clean that up later, but that's what it means. It means it needs to positive exponent. Now, this simplifies because we have a cube root of 8. So you can think of this as the cube root of 8 all to the fourth power all over 1. So how does that simplify? Well, the cube root of 8, well, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So that means the cube root of 8 is 2. So I have 1 over 2 to the fourth. Now, 2 to the fourth means... 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 16. So the final answer is just 1 16th, and that's how that simplifies. Hope this video was helpful to help you figure out how to deal with exponents when you have like bases. We're dividing. We're going to subtract the exponents. So I'm going to get 10 to the 2 minus a negative 1 half. Well, minus a negative one half becomes plus one half. So, uh, whoops, ten the, to the two plus one half would be two and a half. Or we usually write our answers as as fractions. We're not going to write it as a mixed number. So let's go ahead and do the circle trick. Two and a half is two times two plus one is five halves. So that's ten to the five halves, and that would be our answer. Okay. So we're still going to subtract the exponents, but remember you're subtracting a negative, which adds to a positive. Okay, those are kind of all the different types of problems. The only other thing would be simplifying maybe a fifth root or a fourth root um, that comes up in a problem. So let's just throw one or two up here. Okay, so let's say you're looking for the fourth root, and you've got this fraction.